Hello, this is a quick tip for main WP users who manage multiple WooCommerce websites. It's easy to update the WooCommerce plugin from the main WP dashboard. But one frustration I had is going into the individual sites later and realizing that I also needed to update the WooCommerce database to complete the job. And what I've been doing is going into those sites individually and clicking on the button. But as a pro user, I didn't need to do that part of the package is an extension called bulk setting manager which I've used I just didn't realize I could do this and I won't go into details about what this does there's some good videos here but essentially it with a key maker allows you to record the settings in WordPress plugins and themes and then send those settings out to your individual sites well we can also do this with this database update and in fact we don't need to record it ourselves because if we go over to to the GitHub page for main WP, there is a collection of keys here for different plugins and themes and WordPress itself. And there is a section here on WooCommerce. If I go over to this, you can see we've got a few keys already recorded for WooCommerce. We need this one, which I've also got on this tab for speed. And then all we need to do is to copy and paste this to the right place. Now I'm gonna go into my main WP dashboard and you'll need to make sure, of course, that you've got the extension activated here. So it's the bulk settings manager. And what we need to do is to add that key into the import keys here. So we'll give it a key name over here and then we'll, we'll just paste this in and make the key and then after that and I'm going to go over to the new tab because I've already done this once we've got the key here all we need to do is to select that particular key make sure we select the site that we want it to go and then save the key and that's how it sends it so let me just go over to the site I was showing you so I've got two pages open here because it looks slightly different to how it is here on the dashboard and this is my eFunnels demo site so I'm gonna now try this out let's hope it works okay so I've ticked on I've ticked on this let me save the key just gives me a quick warning and here we go I think sometimes this gives a, a fail here but in fact it hasn't failed I'm gonna close this and I'm just going to refresh this and all being well this should tell me that it's doing the updates Let's give it a minute slow internet there yes the updates are going on so the process is taking place and it will automatically end and obviously the same is going to be true there so i hope that was useful if it was then please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel hope to see you in another video thanks a lot bye bye